Hey guys, welcome back to New Science, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. And honestly, I didn't think it was possible. I knew this movie was going to be big, but I didn't think it would surpass a billion dollars. And Deadpool Wolverine did just that, only very recently. Deadpool Wolverine is the highest grossing R-rated movie of all time right now, and it's surpassed a billion dollars. And I think it continues to make money every week. And it's only been out for like about maybe three weeks or so. And this is great freaking incredible news and i can't wait to talk about it so make sure you like comment subscribe click on the notifications so you don't have to miss anything follow me on my social media which you can also find in the description box below along with the discord invitation link that's also in the description box below and if you don't want to bother to even click in the description box and you're only about 47 seconds in and, and didn't have the time to figure out how to send me messages or send me photo mode submissions then you just look at the screen right here and you can actually see my actual handles right below the webcam overlay so let's go ahead and look at this article from deadpool and wolverine the box office crosses a billion milestone in just three weekends from Screen Rant, and this is really exciting. So Deadpool Wolverine is now a billion dollar movie. The movie, which is the 34th installment in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, is the first R-rated movie in the franchise, and the first led by Ryan Reynolds, titular character, whose movie franchise was produced by 20th Century Fox before they were acquired by Disney's uh, branded, um, uh, rebranded as 20th Century Studios. The Deadpool and Wolverine box office kicked off with a record-breaking opening weekend, earned the best debut for an R-rated movie ever, before quickly climbing the past uh, The Passion of the Christ, total to become the highest grossing R-rated domestic release of all time. Per variety, Deadpool and Wolverine is, has now officially passed a billion dollars worldwide. This more than quintuples the movie's $200 million budget and makes it only the second movie of the year to pass the major milestone behind the Pixar hit Inside Out 2, which I haven't checked out yet, but I heard was excellent. And I only saw the first one very recently, shortly before I went to go see Deadpool and Wolverine, uh, which is the highest grossing animated feature of all time. It is also the second R-rated movie to make a billion dollars behind 2019's Joker, which was also a pretty good movie, and the 55th movie to ever make more than a billion dollars, all but three of which Titanic, Jurassic Park, Star Wars Episode One, Phantom Menace came out this century. So how Deadpool and Wolverine compares to the rest of the Marvel movies? So before I continue on, I gotta say, for this movie to make and you know cross over a billion dollars is a huge win for Marvel Studios because we all know that Marvel Studios needs that money, and I'm glad that you know they were able to make such a great movie. And I really, really hope, and I'm praying to whatever like omnip omnipotent being up there, whatever whoever exists, that Marvel Studios please learn from this. <laughs> Give what the fans want and we shall give you money. That's how it works. So the Deadpool Wolverine release has now become the first MCU movie to pass the billion dollar milestone since Spider-Man No Way Home in 2021, which was also a huge win for Marvel Studios, but I credit that for Sony because, you know, it's a Sony Marvel Studios movie, but it's really more of a Sony movie. Although the studio has had $10 billion movies in the past, the milestone has become during has come during a time of major financial downturn for the studio. In fact, the franchise's most recent theatrical installment before the Reynolds led movie was The Marvels, which was a huge flop and totally sucked. I'm glad I didn't spend a single dime on watching that movie because let me tell you, The Marvels is shit. It's completely forgettable. The villain is awful. I wouldn't say all three leads are horrible because the one who plays Kamala Khan is the only one who's seemingly trying really hard and actually having a good time. And she's the only one that appears that wants to be there on set. But I did watch that movie on Disney Plus and my God, it was terrible. I couldn't even finish it. That's how bad it was. Well, at least I think I finished it, but I think my wife fell asleep. <laughs> but that's how bad it was. And I wanted to shut it off, but I wanted to watch it so I can make an actual judgment. And my God, it is the worst movie ever. It didn't even need to happen. It didn't like propel. I think I'm getting sick, by the way. It didn't... Um, you know, forward any plot or any story that's happening in the MCU. It was just awful. So continue on. While so far the movie seems to be growing at the same rate as many massive Marvel hits, it remains to be seen if its rating affects its long-term growth as its theatrical run continues. Below, see how the new movie compares to the other billion dollar titles in the MCU at the time of writing. And these are the other, other movies in the MCU that's made over a billion dollars. Actually, that's crossed like the $2 billion mark. So Avengers Endgame, 2.799 billion. Infinity War, 2.052 billion. No Way Home, 1.922 billion. The Avengers, 1.52 billion. Avengers Age of Ultron even crossed a billion. It made uh, a little less than the first Avengers movies, but it's 1.4 billion. Black Panther, 1.37 billion. Iron Man 3, 1.2 billion. Captain America Civil War, 1.1 billion. 
uh, which is a great movie. Um, Spider-Man Far From Home, 1.3, 1.13 billion, which honestly, I don't know how. Um, I think Spider-Man Far From Home is like the weakest and the worst out of the three uh, Spider-Man movies. Captain Marvel, uh, 1.131 billion, but I credit Infinity War and Endgame because I think Marvel knew that nobody was going to really care about Captain Marvel. Again, like the Marvels, Captain Marvel didn't like forward like anything. Like it didn't... Uh, you know, uh, forward the plot for anything. It didn't like add anything to it other than the fact that she was a hero who existed in the 90s. And it was also sandwiched right in between major juggernauts, no pun intended, uh, right in between Infinity War and Endgame. And like Marvel Studios touted that as being like the movie that you need to see in order to understand Infinity War and Endgame a little bit better, which really wasn't the case at all. That We didn't need to see that movie. If anything, we didn't need that movie. And then Deadpool Wolverine, 1.029 billion at the time of me recording this video, which can definitely change over the next couple of weekends. So it remains to be seen how high Deadpool and Wolverine can climb up overall MCU chart. It ultimately does not seem like it will be a hit at the level of No Way Home, as the movie had passed the billion dollar milestone by the time its second weekend in theaters had come to an end. However, it is just a week behind that record breaking uh, title, so it could continue to shoot up in the chart, potentially even landing in the pantheon of the top five MCU titles of all time. And it's crazy to believe how, like, let's say a little over a decade ago, Deadpool was just this character who was just like kind of like a, a comedic take on Deathstroke, literally a parody of Deathstroke. And, you know, no one would imagine if like someone were to tell me, hey, a Deadpool movie in the future will earn a billion dollars in theaters. I'd probably like chuckle at it because I'm like, Deadpool's pretty popular, but he ain't no Spider-Man where Spider-Man can literally make billions of dollars. He ain't no Wolverine. He ain't no, you know, whatever, insert popular character here. But it's just crazy. A character like Deadpool, you know, who was like really in the unknown territory, especially like in the early 2000s and maybe 90s or so. Like, look how far we've come. And because of uh, people like Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman putting in the efforts and putting in the care and passion into this movie and, you know, into their characters that they're portraying, people went to go see it. Like, there is no nonsense or anything like that in this movie. And I'm not going to get there. I'm not going to go there right now with the whole nonsense thing that we see in movies these days because then this video would be drawn out. But still, it just goes to show that when you give what the fans want, when you deliver, we will proudly give you our money. <laughs> But anyway, this is great news. I'm really excited. Uh, you let me know your thoughts about uh, Marvel, you know, uh, Marvel Studios' Deadpool and Wolverine crossing a billion dollars. And do you think it's going to actually get close to at least 1.5 billion or so? You let me know your thoughts. Comment down below, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification so you don't miss anything. And as always, I will see you all in the next comic panel.